thought I might do a quick video. Um, my brother has a, I believe like Whistler 3000 or whatever, um, power inverter. It's kind of dark in here, but um, here, let me grab my phone light. Okay. So, I ran out of zero, well, I didn't run out, but I didn't want to use it, so I used scrap two gauge, um, and these are uh, zero gauge or double watt connectors from welding supply. I uh, got my voltmeter, just turned the car off, my amperage meter, a heat gun, space heater, portable heater, uh, power strip, and if you can see back in there, don't got my amp rack hooked up or my second ground because that wouldn't fit, but it didn't seem to make much of a difference in testing. So let me just turn the car on. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll show you what the kind of draw I'm getting with the car off and voltage. So throw this guy on. And then. Kick that guy on. 2,600 watts, blowing 260 or 270 amps. Voltage is at 10.6. Um, as soon as I turn the other heater on, I can show you for a second the voltage, but it protects. Yeah, this thing is kind of retarded. I need to find out a way to modify that. Uh, let me turn the car on. Car is on now. We have charging voltage going up. Um, let's do that again. Heater's on. Same with the other space heater. That's on high. Let me turn that off. Turn this guy on. So 2800, 280 amps, 11 volts. And it's gonna slowly go down, but. I don't know, that seems all right, but I might pull my each shuriken out and test them individually. But yeah, 